Warning, jump scare ahead. Watch out, there's a jump scare ahead of you. Watch out. What? What's wrong? Oh, no, oh, when he backs up, the LOG. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah. And then walk forward. <laughs> It's that time of the year again where everybody changes their name and profile to something spooky. My name is Halloweenith, and today I'll be showcasing some of the scariest things in Team Fortress 2. Such as hovers being toxic in chat, bots still terrorizing servers, and worst of all, the anime pictures. <laughs> no! No! Scream Fortress 20 9 plus 10 is here, and it's by far the one I've been most excited about. After the great update last year, Valve has shown that although they don't care about their game, they can add some pretty good community-made maps. It, sometimes. Look, normally Scream Fortress is a fun novelty every year, but after a few games, I get sick of it. Be it this asshole gigatunneling your entire team, being about to kill someone when they grab a crumpkin and one-tap you, or just it, it, ghost fort in general, it normally gets tiring to play. But last year was so much fun that I really didn't want it to end and go back to my normal rotation of Dust Bowl, Dust Bowl, and... and, and Dust Bowl. Which, I'm, Wait, that reminds me. What the hell is this? This isn't Dust Bowl! Wait a minute! This isn't Dust Bowl! Wait a minute! This isn't Dust Bowl! Ah! Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tier list video and today we're going to be ranking the Halloween maps, baby. Let's get into it. I'm just going to cut this, cut this part out. Farmageddon is a super fun player destruction map. It's suited amazingly for great DM and the player destruction game mode in general is one of my favorites. Contrary to popular belief, I love playing Scout, so my favorite maps are usually the ones where you can jump around and string together kills like it's nothing. To capture the point, you have to go inside this magic pumpkin that takes you to hell, which has an arena in the middle for you to DM and cap the points that you've gotten. This map is super fun, looks really good, and I really hope player destruction can become a mainstay game mode one day. It's just so much fun to play. The little battle arena in hell is also really cool, where you're kinda safe, but you still have a chance of dying if the team tunnels you. It's still very fun. Uh, I really enjoy this map. Los Moritos is really pretty. Like, really pretty. It's a Koth map with the same style as Pier, and I absolutely love it. There isn't really a main route, but more so a bunch of flank routes, with a lot of mobility options to get you from one place to the other. The map is kinda like a maze though, and there are a lot of really good sentry spots since you're not really sure where you're going. So if there is a level 3 sentry somewhere, then, I mean, well, good luck. It's definitely a very advantage heavy map, so if you win the mid in the beginning, you have a bunch of spells and places to your advantage. But I mean, like, come on. It's Halloween, what, what were we expecting? Graveyard is an arena map similar to things like Lumberyard. It's a pretty interesting idea and a semi-fun game mode to play with for a few minutes. The issue though, and the issue with most arena maps, is that once you die once, you're dead for good. It's a last man standing game mode, so the most effective way to play these types of games are to play super campy and either try to cap the objective, or hope the enemy comes to you. This ends up promoting playstyles that I don't personally enjoy, campy ones like Turtle, NG, Black Box Conjurer, even Air Blast Pyro. And to me, that's just not the way I like to play the game, I like to sacrifice myself. This map tries to alleviate that issue a little bit, because when you die, you spawn as a ghost and are able to heal your teammates. It's a neat idea, but the healing effect is so minuscule that you pretty much need your entire team to be healing you for it to make much of an effect. If you can coordinate with your team, it's very good. When there's one player left to balance things out a little bit, he gets full health and mini crits. But when you have to fight a 5v1, mini crits can only do so much. At the end of the day, it was still a fun experience, and uh, I'm still down to play it. Terror is a decent payload map with a weird crit gimmick that I didn't understand. It's pretty fun to play, not gonna lie. Payload isn't exactly my favorite game mode, as most maps are very sniper-oriented, and most games end up being a roll followed by a spawn camp. And this one has the same problems of being able to see into the enemy's spawn, but hey, that's just Payload in general, I guess. If you enjoy Payload, you'll probably enjoy this map. It's very basic and similar to things like Hellstone and Brimstone. Synthetic is literally the map Synthetic, but spooky. If you like the original version, then you'd like this one. I personally never really enjoyed it. The sniper sightlines are kind of ridiculous, and this flank seems like a good idea, but in reality, it becomes the main push for most people. It's an okay map. I don't really have too many complaints. I just, I just wouldn't play it normally. And Erebus is worse than Hitler giving birth to Stalin. I'd rather eat a diarrhea dumb donkey dick. This. Right here, this. Why does this exist? The sentry literally covers every single point you can push. If you have this sentry on the first stage, you win. 
Erebus is a three stage attack defend map, but good luck getting to that second stage because this sentry gun is just blocking it. I haven't even gotten to play it because this is, it's crazy. Defense just wins. Unlike better maps like, you know, Dust Bowl, where the first stage is favored to the offense and the last stage being favored to the defense, this is always favored towards the defense and is very, very frustrating to play. Speaking of Dust Bowl, wh where's the Halloween Dust Bowl? Come on, when are we gonna get that? Come, come on. There's some new funny taunts that I find pretty funny. The Mambulance is pretty cool and the Scout sitting on the beanbag chair. I already bought both of them. Oh, they're pretty cool, but the rest I don't really care about. What, what else do they do? All the Halloween contracts are reset, so you can do those again if you want to. The issue is that I see a lot of people in pubs playing maps like Ghost Fort or trying really hard to get their contract done. But when it resets every single year, it really doesn't matter. Just don't stress about it. The cosmetics are alright. Nothing too special or anything I'm going to wear regularly. At this point, we have so many hats and cosmetics that if anyone's going to have their own fit, they've already decided it. But hey, these are pretty cool too. I do find this scout one being broken very funny though. <laughs> of course, I wear it because uh, lol. Uh, what else? Um, all the players who launch the game will receive a soul gargoyle if they don't already have- I'm literally reading the patch now. Look, people are going to complain about this update. That's how it is. TF2 is over a decade old now, and people are going to feel entitled and not excited about these updates anymore. Trust me, I was one of those people too. And I'm not really a Halloween fan, but these last few have been really fun. And you're perfectly fine to be disappointed. The dev team obviously doesn't care or doesn't even exist. But if you're having fun and loving these updates, then don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're allowed to enjoy whatever you want. So I'm going to enjoy it. Here are some funny gaming clips for y'all. My name is Zenith, and uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, hopefully. We got a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we interrupt this program for some funny pumpkin bomb gaming. Funny gaming pumpkin. Yo, don't don't take the teleporter and come out the the door. Nah. Oh my god! What the fuck? That's the real. <laughs> yeah, because we got we all got auto balance so. Like, yes! Half of us out of balance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, easy money! Hi, son. We're, we're just chilling, you know? We're chilling. <laughs> Yo, can I have some of your chips, I just bro? Him to just yell, Shut the fuck up over the mic. That's really good. What the fuck? Can you say something for me? You should. Okay, can you say, Zenith, you are based and red pilled and epic? I don't. What? No, say just say. It. Come on. <laughs> say say Zenith. You know Zenith, like famous YouTuber Zenith, and then you are based. And red pilled and epic win. Chungus. Alright, Zenith, wherever the fuck you are, you are apparently based in Chungus and, and Bacon or whatever. That's not what I asked! <laughs> this isn't what I asked! That's you amazing. fucking made it! Oh. <laughs> he, he saw Crumpkin, so he like jumped in the hole. Get Crumpkin. Ah! <laughs> bacon, epic bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bargain with that guy. <laughs> Why tell you, Lois? This reminds you of the time I got that sexy for me to get Overwatch porn. Yeah, Lois, this is the, like that time I had Overwatch porn. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, Lois, so this is like that time I watched Overwatch porn. <laughs> so. Bombs. <laughs> you keep doing it. <laughs> hey, Lois. My name is Jeff, Lois. This is worse than the time I was sus. <laughs> <laughs> Check this snipe. Fuck! Son, can you can you look at my items real quick? Oh yeah, all right. Hold on, how do I make you third person? All right. What do you have? Fist of steel. It's pretty cool. I right? hate. Fuck you. <laughs>